So importing surveys, uh, one thing that is kind of uh, underestimated in InVivo is that it is very, uh, depending on what you're doing, it is very mixed methods friendly. And so I would submit that when you're doing your uh, methodology or you're trying to think of your research design, um, some surveys can definitely help you in that regard. So please don't be scared of that. But one thing to know in InVivo is that you must have at least one open-ended question in your survey design. But those open-ended questions, they're very limited. Um, you can only have 250 characters in that participant response. So you have to think about specifically how you want a participant to respond to that open-ended question. You shouldn't be seeking paragraphs or multiple paragraphs. Uh, a couple sentences will suffice for whatever question that you that you think of for your research purposes. The closed-ended questions become attributes to cases, uh, e.g., your survey respondents. And so, your open-ended questions become nodes. So, if you double-click on that node slash code thematic code you'll be able to see the responses uh, that you garnered. But for the closing of questions, those participants become your cases. And we'll, I know it's kind of confusing right now, but those participants become your cases and their answer to those questions become attributes. Now there are several different file formats that you can use for InVivo to import surveys. Uh, you can use, uh, text documents or Excel uh, for surveys. You can have a .csv file or you can import surveys from SurveyMonkey and or Qualtrics. And here is a demonstration coming up. So you may see a pause on your screen while I get out of this presentation view and go to my desktop. Alrighty, everybody should be able to see my screen. And so if you notice, when I open up in vivo, we go back to the last uh, webinar, I've already created folders in my file section. I created folders for interviews and survey. And let me reshare the screen so you can see. So you should be able to see this now. Okay. So if you notice in the files section, um, we have created interviews and surveys for folders under files, okay? And so right now I wanna or import a survey. So I'm gonna click on the survey folder. I'm gonna scroll up to import. And because I have a survey already created on my desktop, I am going to click Excel because I'm importing the survey from Excel. Scroll down to survey responses. And just like I covered earlier, uh, a survey wizard will pop up to kind of reiterate what InVivo is getting ready to do for you. So your respondents will be stored as cases. Your closed ended questions will be created as attributes. And your open ended questions will be created as nodes. So we're going to hit next. Here you can kind of check out your data format to see number one, if you click the, um, the right survey that you're trying to import. And one thing to note is before you import a survey, uh, you have to close that survey in Excel first or whatever you use, the text document. And just make sure you close that before you import. All right, 
right, so here is the view. Uh, once again, I know there's some, some screen lag, so I wanna make sure that you can actually see what I'm talking about. So your rows are here and your respondent ID is here. Uh, the survey return date is here. If you notice here, this is an open-ended question. The natural environment down east is kind of fill in a blank. So on and so forth. Then you hit your next button. So Enviva will then ask you, where in your project would you like to store your cases? So we're, we already selected the folder under survey responses. So we're gonna leave that the same, okay? And it's gonna create a new classification or case classification of survey responded. And we're gonna hit next. We're just gonna leave at default. So here, uh, let me give you some time to get on the screen uh, because of the lag. I just wanna make sure you can view it. Um, but whenever your uh, screen gets to this point, I'm gonna give it a second. Bear with me. Okay. So here, very important, very important step right here for a survey. If you notice, you can tailor uh, whether a whether something is closed ended, open ended, or if you don't want it imported. And so remember, everything that's closed ended is going to be an attribute. So your row ID, your respondent, your return date, things like that. So what Invivo will do is it will look for common nouns and things like that and run an algorithm and try to help you out and and do these for you, but it is not infallible. So you need to kind of do that yourself. And so for open-ended notice, we have those very, you know, short answer questions that would be our nodes. So the natural environment is, and I go, yep, that's an open-ended question. The water quality down east is like, yep, that's a short answer, open-ended question. And so I want that as open-ended, so on and so forth. And we're going to hit next and I am going to uh, kind of pause right now because uh, I hit next on my screen, but I just want to make sure that you can see it on yours. Okay. And so one thing you can do with um, in vivo 12 plus is you can auto code by themes and auto code by sentiment. Now, don't get too excited. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna use those. So we're gonna uncheck that and then we're gonna hit finish. In vivo does some working um, for you. And uh, while you wait to see what happens, um, one thing you wanna make sure again is that you close your Excel spreadsheet or your TXT file or whatever you're using for your survey. Uh, because if you try to import it with it open and I've done it plenty of times, then it's not really gonna work out too well for you as a, as a fun tip. And again, sometimes if you use Qualtrics or, or something like that, you might need your PKI code or something like that. So just be cognizant of that. So now that that has ran, uh, once it closes and once you open up your survey inside of Invivo, it opens up automatically. So there's nothing that you have to do per se yourself, but it's gonna open up on in your survey folder or wherever you put it. And so once you open it up, you'll have boom, you'll have your survey already imported. Okay. And so one thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you 
double check to make sure that it imported correctly. And again, you can go back and forth. But what we really want to do is we want to go to our codes, our survey responses. And so this is where the rubber kind of meets the road. If you notice here, all your open-ended questions uh, have been automatically created inside of in vivo in a thematic node. And so that can definitely save you some time um, for your data analysis. And it can definitely kind of, I use the term auto code loosely, but it can definitely help you out if you're trying to, you know, code uh, your short answer responses to a survey, you don't really have to reinvent the wheel in that regard. So that is how you import a survey. You will have your survey in your files section under your data and your survey responses if you put them in a folder in your node section.